feature of these sets, the swivel CRT head unit and the pitcher tube. And when they die, you don't get a picture on your test on your set anymore. And there is a limited amount of uh, the angle of this glass and the neck, the length of this. The SF-17, which uh, is short for short-faced. Philco invested a bit of time of this pitcher tube and a little bit of the mythology around tubes were in sets that were called mirror in lid. The pitcher tubes were so long they had to mount them vertically and have a mirror at a 45 degree angle so you could view it instead of because if you view degree angle for you to view them because if they mounted them horizontally so you could directly view them the cabinets would have been four feet deep. Why were they made like that? Fuck. Characteristics of this pitcher tube. Philco invested a lot of R&D effort into creating these. What they... Nobody would want to have a cabinet that was four feet deep. It just would be very impractical. Fuck. These were 90, 70, 54 for the first post-war TVs. Well, this is 110. That was one step better than this little... You're going to burn it out. So they had to lower that filament voltage. Now that can lead to problem. Picture tubes as they run on much lower voltage. Industry standard at the time was 6.3 volts for the filament. 17s run on 2.68 and the 20 runs run on 2.34. Why is the voltage so much lower? Hello? Hang on, hang on. 